Don't say Canada, reminds me of Bieber. Just want to check. I have lost the stream because my jetpack has run out of batteries. Because usually it lasts a whole day, but sometimes it doesn't. Um, but it's good. Battery is good. It's just the 440 bug, everyone. That happens every time. At the stream time 440, not the actual time 440. Uh, Uptime 440 ish. It just decides to die. I'm at a new gas station now. We've upgraded. Let's see, what do we got? Per, so, but now I'm on a gas station on the, um, the left side of the road. Like if I'm going the way I want to go on the left side there, so they have to cross over, so I don't know. So you just have to fix it? It happens so often every <laughs> four hours and 40 minutes? No way! It happens every 4 hours and 40 minutes. What? The 4 hour and 40 minute bug? <laughs> Alright. Why is there no one here? A few people are using the market, but I'm guessing it's mostly local. Try a colonial name here? That'd be a good one. Alright, let's ask this guy. He's just hanging out. Hey man, I'm from Canada and I'm just trying to get down the road that way, Moorhead. Hang on, let's have some blood. I don't want cash, I'm just looking to get in that direction. Hey, you can't, can't let nobody oh, ride a company vehicle. Company vehicle? Alright, cool. Alright, have a good one. I will, but we ain't allowed to let nobody. With company? Yeah, a lot of companies are like that. It's all good, have a good one. Good job. I'm not gonna ask that girl because she looks scary. Looks like she's a, a little bit, you know, you know what I mean. That accent isn't a good idea. Your accent isn't a good idea. Just say north. It's not north though. It's not. This is 24 East. But I, I do appreciate that everyone in chat is a professional hitchhiker. I know you're all professionals. I know you're all professionals. I've only hitchhiked through 25 countries and been picked up over 800 times in my life. Um, but I'm, I know I'm still learning how to do it. I'm still learning. But one day I'll learn how to do it. But everyone knows Twitch is an expert at everything. <laughs> They're experts at everything. Yeah, I've only hitchhiked across Canada, Ireland, Wales, England, Scotland, North Sweden, Denmark, Germany, Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg, France, Switzerland, Liechtenstein, Austria, Slovenia, Croatia, Poland, Lithuania, Latvia, Russia, Japan, Australia, and the United States of America. But what do I know? But what do I know? <laughs> Drinking enough water? Uh, before I went to the gas station, I drank like a liter pretty quickly. I said Norway, Sweden, Denmark. Dude, cool, I heard you like hitchhiking. I do like hitchhiking. <laughs> Say I'm a Vietnam vet. <laughs> no. But, like, that was funny. I like that, but. On a serious note, I don't lie to get rides. Where is Sweden? I don't know. I don't think anyone really knows what Sweden is. I just showed up somewhere and I'm like, people are like, welcome to Sweden. And you're like, oh, there you go. Can you speak the languages? Which, oh, there's another place. Oh, but he's just ripping around. 
I was kind of hoping that they're like, we got another complaint. <laughs> Never come to see it's illegal to hitchhike, except it's not. But <laughs> it's illegal in uh, Nevada, Utah, Idaho, Delaware, and New Jersey. It's fine in Tennessee. Rocking with a pedal mic now? Because I broke my other mic, yeah. Did you like Croatia? I love Croatia. When people ask me what my favorite country was, I say, I can't pick one, but I can pick three. Three, English. Um, Ireland, Croatia, and Japan. God, this gas station is not good. Last guy's a test, the folks, well most don't, but he thought I was. You, when you approach someone, they think you're gonna ask for money. That's by default. And I'm not gonna just come up and be like, I'm not asking for money. That's not how I'm gonna approach them. Thumbs up, there's nowhere to hitchhike here. What was Japan like? Some of the, hitch, some of the fastest hitchhiking um, I've ever done. Ireland's such a bad country, you're entitled to your opinion. I'm entitled to think you're wrong. Need that haircut since the back of truck rut? I do need a haircut though. I'm asking for money. Uh, what are your plans when you get to those states like New Jersey? I want to Twitch hike through there, which would be um, viewers that want to like hang out with me and like maybe help me out, get me a little bit ways, ways down the road. We can Twitch hike through there. Imagine hitchhiking in Africa. I'd like to do it. Start saying I'm a wealthy Canadian. Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Most expensive car you can I say airplane? Because a uh, King Air 250 would be the most expensive vehicle I've hitchhiked in. Hmm. Yeah, there's people coming in to use this as a market, but they're just going to be local. I want people that are filling up, but the gas tanks are not very well used. Gotta get to Jersey sometime? I am. I'm going through all 50 states. Someone told me hitchhiking in Tennessee is illegal because they tried to. People think hitchhiking is illegal everywhere you go. No matter where I go, people are like, you can't do that here. Either people won't pick you up or it's illegal. They're just going to tell you that. But that's not the actual case. So, wait, so you got to fly for free? Yeah, I've hitchhiked on five airplanes so far. Five airplanes. Uh, ask person filling up, but it's a, it's a, oh, she's getting back in her car. Oh, she's, no, no, she got back in her car. <laughs> Dang it. Small child, small child, abort. I don't like asking people if they've got a small child in there. Yeah, apparently this area is difficult for hitchhiking. If I could stand on the road, if there was a spot, I'd already be there. Like, I'd, I'd be there long ago. Or I've been there a while ago. <sighs> I was humming a song to Greece. I was also singing a song earlier. Um, someone said something. What was I singing? Um, I don't know. I was singing a song to Greece earlier. I don't know why Greece is on my mind. Went over the kid? Now, my parents are a lot more protective when they've got their kid in the car. Hmm. Males and females more likely to give you a ride? Like. I challenge you to guess that answer. Um, I think about 85% of my rides are from guys. 85 or 90%. Yeah. Are you guys seeing Bohemian Rhapsody?
caught in a landslide No escape from reality yeah, This is now a singing scene Singing sing? A singing string English is tough sometimes, you know? There you go <laughs> How many hours of daylight? Uh, an hour and a half or so Looks like there's good camping around here I run out of daylight I don't hitchhike at night for those of, that, those of you that are new to the stream I don't hitchhike at night uh, So if I run out of daylight, I'll just set up my tent and continue on the next day Why not hold up sign? I don't have an appropriate sign for where I am right now. Did you just grab a motel or hotel? No, I would, uh, tonight, since there's a breeze and we're by the ocean, I'd just tent. Strangest experience hitchhiking? I still haven't told that story to the stream. It's an interesting one though. I don't think I'm going to just say it. I was gonna do it on Discord. What? By the ocean in Tennessee? Is Tennessee even on the ocean? I don't think it is. <laughs> I like that we've just got uh, Bohemian Rhapsody just going on. This gas station sucks. You know what? I'm bored. I'm just going to walk for a while. I'm bored. Let's, let's go for a walk, everyone. There's like eventually I walk a while a ways there'll be another gas station and then we'll just uh, <laughs> try from there I guess. Can you not get a oh given enough time no matter no matter where you are hitchhiking and no matter what you look like eventually you get a ride. Um, it's just a matter of time. There's places that are better and there's ways you can present yourself present yourself better to get yourself a ride quicker. But no matter what you look like, no matter where you are, eventually hitchhiking will work. It's just a fact. How was your night? Wait, my night? You're talking to me? Did you answer? Oh, the sun's gonna be kinda behind me, which is awkward for the stream. But, whatever. Have you gotten a ride on a motorcycle? Uh, no. I've had a motorcycle pull over for me. But, uh, never a ride. Do, 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 do. Like, hitchhiking is how you present yourself. Just look clean and presentable and non-threatening. Some people are naturally, like, <laughs> just threatening or like, they look more intimidating than other people. I don't look very intimidating. Longest distance travel by foot while hitchhiking? I don't know. I don't really keep track. I find it a lot easier to not keep track. It hurts my, my soul less. Like if I look and I'm be like, okay, I got a, I got a 10 kilometer walk. That doesn't make me happy. But if I just do the 10 kilometer walk, then. Yeah. And it's not bad. But a 10 kilometer walk. Before, when you're looking at it, you're like, okay, let's do a 10 kilometer walk now. It, it, it's not fun. There'd be plenty of camping around here. Maybe I just want to like camp around here and try again tomorrow. Because, well, the ferry's already, like, I'm taking the ferry to eventually Hatteras Island and stuff like that. Um, but it, it, the last ferry ran at 6 30. Right, it's, it's past that point now. Um, so I'm staying in this general area tonight. Staying in this general area. Um, so, and I've only got just over an hour of daylight. 
How old were you when we first started? I started hitchhiking at 19. Best worst vehicles. I've been I've ridden some, a lot of really bad vehicles, like just rust buckets like falling apart. But um, best vehicle, best vehicles have been a, a King Air 250 uh, airplane, uh, a Howard, a something, Howard something. It's a, a plane from 1943, um, a Lithuanian military Humvee, a school bus in Ireland. <laughs> I'm just naming the coolest vehicles I've hitchhiked in. Um, a boat across a lake in Ireland. Um, yeah. Any rockets? No rocket riding yet. One day. So I walk down here and I see an appropriate place where there's, I don't know, some random shoulder that pops out of nowhere to, uh, that I can hitchhike on, then I'll hitchhike there. We'll see. No Lambo, no bicycles. I almost hitchhiked the ride on a Ferrari. Because the guy that taught me how to hitchhike on airplanes, who picked me up in his truck and then got me some rides on airplanes. Um, his, he owns a Ferrari. But his brother had the keys. So we can can go on in the Ferrari. Been to Texas, yes? Yet? Yes. Dune buggies? Not yet. I really want to hitchhike on a helicopter, um, a hot air balloon, a tandem bicycle, um, an exotic sports car at some point, so like oh, your Lamborghini Ferrari, just something exotic. Looks defeated. I wouldn't say that. This is all part of the process. I don't want hitchhiking to be I want there to be challenges. I want to be tested. What about a piggyback ride? Yeah, a piggyback ride too. I'll be, a, I can, <laughs> if I befriend anyone, then maybe I'll just ask them. Excuse me, could you, could I hitchhike a ride on your back? A tank, a tank would be cool. I know you're just joking, Dex. Oh yeah, Pennsylvania Amish car. Yeah, I want to hitchhike on a horse and buggy as well. <laughs> About getting a ride in Ferrari with room for the gear? I guess. Yeah, just do the front seats and then they have a little, little trunk in the front, right? But probably not big enough for my backpack. Go to an army base. <laughs> they can give you a ride in a tank? That would be cool. Alright, I'm just gonna walk up to an army base and be like, Hi, I'm from Canada. Um, I'm hitchhiking around the United States. I was wondering if you could give me a ride in a tank. <laughs> they might, uh, if I, I, they, they wouldn't be allowed to do that, but maybe if I sent a request to like some kind of... Does anyone work for the Department of Defense? Can we push some paperwork around and get me a, a tour of a military base and a ride in a tank? Also, riding an F-18 or something cool like that, too, would be appreciated. Pennsylvania yet? No, I haven't been to Pennsylvania yet. Taking an Apache, yes, an Apache. Was you inviting an F-22? Uh, I think it would be such a cool experience. I'd probably throw up if we did anything cool, but I wouldn't care. Have you ever been to the Middle East? I've been to United Arab Emirates, but that's it. Been to Dubai and Abu Dhabi. You don't trust helicopters one bit. What did the helicopter do to you? You know? What makes you so biased against uh, helicopters? You know? Helicopters are pretty cool. I finally got around to updating my Instagram. Yeah, I, I was at ride number 91 yesterday morning. And now I'm updated, or I'm up to ride number 121. 
So I had 30 rides to catch up on. Albeit not all of them had pictures. But I had a lot of uh, uh, updating to get on. Uh, did you get raided? I don't think we got uh, any huge raids today. Just, uh, just people checking out the channel. You identify as an Apache helicopter? That's a cool thing to identify as. I like it. Going through Instagram every second post was you. Yeah, actually, from posting that, my Instagram followers I think went down a little bit because I spammed everyone's uh, Instagram with a million picture selfies of me. Here's Trevor with this person. Here's Trevor with this person. Here's Trevor with this person and another person and another and another. And I think people are like, okay, en <laughs> enough of the selfies, Trevor. We get it. You've hitchhiked, okay? How's the state chemistry place? It was amazing. I took a day off. It's the first full day I've taken off streaming and like doing anything in a long time. And it was great. I just got to hang out with his family. They're very, very friendly towards me. They helped me out a bunch. There's a jet right there. Oh, I want to ride on an airplane like that. Okay, anyway, uh, Kemchi. Uh, yeah, so I just hung out with him. I did a little uh, Discord talk or like a uh, voice channel thing for a bit last night and hung out with Kemchi as he streamed for a couple of hours. It was really good. And I did laundry. Oh, actually I didn't do laundry. Kemchi's family did my laundry. <laughs> so thank you. Actually, oh wait, no. I thought for a second that maybe I could hitchhike up there, but I think there's still a, a raised concrete edge. Pick up Don. Well, made him look less muscular. Yeah, because it was like from from here up. Dude was made of muscles. Dude was made of muscles. Which was funny that <laughs> when I when he first pulled over, he's just like, yeah, if you like try to do anything, like I'll kill you. And he like had a gun there, which is fine. A lot of people have done that. They're just clarifying. Don't try anything, because I'm not gonna take any of your crap. And I'm like, that's fair enough. I'm not going to try anything. Um, the fact that he needed to say that because what was I going to do to this guy? The dude was made of muscle. <laughs> Hitching a camel would be interesting. I agree that would be interesting. I would like to hitchhike on a camel. Yeah. So he was a Marine, he was jacked and uh, like, so he knows how to defend himself. Even if he didn't know how to defend himself, he was much stronger than me, so. Did you look at him funny? No. He just doesn't, I don't think he picks up many hitchhikers and he just wanted to clarify from the get-go that, uh, that he wasn't gonna take anything. Yep, we're in a military area. Dude was super cool. I agree, actually. Uh, like once we got past the uh, making sure I knew that I like don't do anything or I'll shoot you part, he was just a really cool guy. Hundred percent. A tank ride isn't coming. Oh baby, that would be great. I would love that. Have we come to New Jersey? You got me? That's a very generous and useful offer because it's illegal to hitchhike in New Jersey. So New Jersey is one of the places that I'll have to twitch hike through. So, can you send me a whisper? It's called a, a tank Uber. Oh, they have Uber for tanks now, that's cool. Is that like when a country wants to fight a war, they just like, bring up their uber tank app and they're just like yeah send me um yeah about uh 250 uh abrams tanks yeah that'd be great coming to minnesota yeah i am 
this side doesn't have like a raised concrete edge, but that side of the road does. That's the side I need to hitchhike on. Why you do that? You'd be honored to help you twitch hike if you were made to Utah? I'd be honored to twitch hike with you. If anyone has any offers kind of like that, um, can you send me a whisper or a message on Discord or Instagram or Twitter or whatever? My uh, different social medias and stuff are linked below. Um, I just, I, I add you to a list. Um, just so I'm reminded of it. But I can't add that to a list while I'm live streaming. Uh, if you know when I reach for Honda, okay, all right. <laughs> Yeah, like this wouldn't be the best spot but you could technically hitchhike right here because yes the hard shoulder isn't too wide but we've got this soft shoulder that's pretty gentle and hard packed been away for a bit did I get a ride from the gas station depends what gas station you're talking about the first one, yes, I did get a ride from a police officer to the next gas station because uh, someone made a complaint saying I was filming <laughs> and they just complained about that and the cop came just to check it out we talked about what I was doing and he's like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with what you're doing uh, just people are going to be uh, some people will, will, will be like that <laughs> they'll get scared of you and then they'll call the police um, and then the next gas station, I, I just wasn't getting a good vibe from it. The traffic was really slow. So I decided to start walking because I was bored. Sometimes I'll do that. Like, I'll hitchhike at a gas station. And then uh, I'll get bored. And then I'll just start walking. Why is everyone thinking it's illegal to film things? I don't know. But yeah, if you're out in public, there's no expectation of privacy. If someone asks me to not be filming and I'm in public, I absolutely will turn the camera off of them. If someone says, hey, I don't want to be filmed, that's fine, I'm not going to film you. Um, but if someone does film you when you're in public, there's no expectation of privacy. Uh, so you really can't complain too much. <laughs> There's a dope hat. Should I get that? Dope. Would that help my hitchhiking? I don't know if you could see that. It's a black and red hat with a giant dope on it. Walking 15 miles? Maybe. I don't know. I'm just going to walk until I'm like, I don't feel like walking no more. I think I'm going to go home. I'm not gonna wear it. I'll let someone else find it and utilize it, cause I won't. Yeah, you guys got the Forrest Gump quote? Well, it's like, Almost quote, but walking instead of running. Where's the good hitch? There's, there's hitchable spots on this side of the road where I'm walking, facing traffic, but there's not on the other side. The side that I want to go.
ya. Let's have a quick drink of water. I gotta get, no, that, that's a military base. Otherwise I would. There's, a, there's an actual airport, I think a small airport, just after uh, Moorhead, uh, North Carolina. And I might be able to, uh, might try to hitchhike on an airplane there. Guys, yeah, just taking a little walk and break. Oh, you fixed the squeaking shoes. It's not the shoes. Speedway gas station two miles on the right, big solid. That's good information. Three, three K ain't bad. Mark three K and uh, three point two K. Half, just under half an hour. This water's been getting less and less green every time I fill it up. Squeaking shoes has caused kidney stones. Oh man. Like we actually haven't gotten that far today, but we've had four rides. It's been fun today. I don't like gas station hitchhiking. I don't like it. Nice resting spot? Yeah. We're at a church. Churches are pretty good about not being annoying about your presence. Um, you know, the whole helping everyone out kind of thing, but... Mm. Send the ride kind of be at 125 with the cop ride. That's true. We did the hitchhiker ride with a police officer today, so it should be 125. Corona Wildlife Refuge here? What kind of wildlife do they got there? What do we got here in North Carolina? Whew. Luckily, it's cooled down a whole lot. We've only got an hour of daylight left, so um, it's not nearly as hot as it was. Sleeping Bear, thanks for the house. Welcome, Sleeping Bear viewers. Welcome. Ah. I do want to look at a map around here. Because even if I do get a ride into Moorhead right now, now I'm in a, a city, technically a city, it's a small city, and then I have to, presumably I'm going to be camping tonight, um, I have to find a place to camp, and in a city it's more difficult. Um, Going to bed now, Aragon? Alright, see ya! Uh, yeah, there's lots of forests around here. I can camp out. Oh, we gotta ride into... Um, into the city. Uh, uh, it will be difficult for me to find a place. So confused, what? what the? So I was at 121 this morning and I've had four rides. 121 plus four equals 125. Oh, we're talking about the drop bears in Australia? Yeah. It's dangerous, I was camping outside like, Drop bears, man. Four, including the police officer. Correct. That is correct. Four rides today. I don't. Maybe I'll get close to that gas station and just call it a night there. Get something, uh, some kind of bite to eat. Because the sun's gonna set at eight, eight fifteen or something like that. Um.
Wait, where is that um, gas station you guys are talking about? I just want to see what's around there. You've had eight rides today? Nice. That's nice. Yeah, I like the days where you're um, getting lots of short rides like that. Um, like, the most I've had in the day is 12, and you're like in and out of cars all day. You're like just in and out, meeting new people. It's a lot of fun. I mean, your state. I do find that fun when people are like, they come and they're like, whoa, you're like an hour away from me. Small world. See any dingoes? No, I didn't see any dingoes in Australia. Can I have dinner? Yeah. Um, I was thinking about walking in the direction of um, that that place. Yeah, I think I'm gonna walk to that gas station people told me about that had a wide shoulder. Let me look at it. Oh baby, that does look good. If it's smooth, I can't tell. If, wait, people have probably already checked it out. It probably looks smooth. That might be really nice. And then uh, grab a bite to eat there, I guess. I have enough food in my backpack if I need to. Um, or if there's a fast food place along the way, just get that there and then um, and then probably camp out there. I don't really feel like getting into the city right now. This, the sun's gonna set. So I might just walk the two miles to the, to the gas station, grab a bite to eat, talk about the day and then um, and then call it there and uh, go tomorrow catch the ferry to like these islands and hitchhike along these small islands hang up the fun I think I'm fun let's just see how long it's gonna really 2.8 miles it says 54 minute walk maybe it is sometimes I walk quick Sometimes I don't. Just want to quick check one thing quickly. One thing quickly. Getting a hotel? No, I, I think camping around here will be good. We're by the ocean, so you get kind of an ocean breeze, uh, and it's not that humid today. There are the two churches up ahead, but no restaurants. There's no food, but there's churches. What the hell? What the? What the? Walk live? Yeah, you, you guys excited? If you go to Cape Hatteras, the lighthouse, there's... Yeah, I would plan on going to Hatteras. <laughs> like, gas stations don't have the best food, but they've got some kind of food. Are you guys ready for a walking stream? Plan to go get to... Uh, yeah, I plan on going to Alaska and Hawaii. Where do you set up the tents that's legal? Uh, I set up the tents on public land in places where no one really hangs out. Um, because in my opinion, it makes no sense to pay for a 10 by 10 plot of grass to set down your tent just to sleep for the night when there's so much open land and I don't, set, I don't have a campfire, I don't leave any trash behind. By the time I leave wherever I'm camping, you should know, never know I was there because it really hasn't changed. Does recording making getting a ride harder? I don't think it's increased my wait times compared to when I, all the other times I've hitchhiked without a camera. You picked me up in Alaska. Ooh, that's cool. Is it Dunkin' Donuts by the Speedway? Nice. Do they have any, like, food that's not donuts? Oh, there is one in the Speedway. Okay. Alright. Let's roll. Have you had issues while sleeping out? No, not really. I've had a few wild animals around my, uh, my tent, but they're all right. They have coffee, they have sandwiches. Okay. Maybe I'll get a Dunkin' Donuts sandwich. They have real food? Yeah. They have different foods. People have said several different ways that yes, they have more than just donuts. And cops? Of course. Who doesn't like a good donut though?
Oh, it's so weird having this cord. I'm not used to it. I'm not used to it. Oh, you came undone. Get back on there. Cord, where are you going? Why are you doing this? Cord. What? Cord. What is this? There we go. <laughs> Not used to having a cord. <laughs> what a disaster. Oh no. Oh no. What have I done? This is what happens when I destroy my main microphone. The backup microphone gets mad at me. Squeak! Squeak! Perfect. Are you guys ready for a walking stream? Like if there's a really good spot to hitchhike before then, I might just be like, oh, I'll just hitchhike. But I'm not. I'll just walk for 54 minutes according to Google to the speedway. Hopefully before the sun sets because I would rather not walk along this highway which doesn't have much of a walking shoulder um, when the sun's already gone down. Wait, I, I do apologize. If you come here for hitchhiking, there's a more than likely, I will not hitchhike again today, so. Time is it now 7.13. Got probably an hour until uh, the sun goes down. I have a reflective vest. I still don't like hiking at night, even with a reflective vest. Tried your bet. Oh, this is all part of the process. I don't mind that like the uh, the gas station hitchhiking didn't work very well. That's why I don't like doing like hitchhiking at gas stations within a town or a city, like in really populated areas, because it's all local traffic. I don't mind hitchhiking at gas stations along a highway because a lot of people are going somewhere. time trying to get to a ferry. Well, pretty much when I got to that place and found out that the ferry ended at 6.30, I already was like, okay, it, according to Google Maps, it takes an hour, almost an hour and a half to get there. And I've got, what was it, like two hours and 20 minutes until uh, the ferry stopped running at that point. I was like, I'm not gonna get to the ferry. So I just walked across to the gas station, took my time. Talk to people while I wasn't in a rush. I don't like hitchhiking if I'm in a rush to get somewhere. That's not fun for me. I just like taking my time. I'm not the only one, Mike, that calls you Wisco. <laughs> I was calling Wisco for like the longest time because it's the first part of his, uh, his screen name. I'm like, Wisco Mike, Wisconsin Mike. You know, I'm sure you'd rather be called by your, uh, your name rather than your state. So then I start calling him Mike, unless I forget to, and then I don't. 
but I usually try to remember to. Did you miss my birthday? No. It's in like two weeks though. Let's go better than Mike. You call him 83. <laughs> Yo, 83. What kind of food are you gonna eat? Well, there's a Dunkin' Donuts up there. So, maybe some Dunkin'? Did AA Ron ever drop and say hi? I haven't seen him in the channel, but he did, uh, he added me on Instagram and commented on some stuff, and I, 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 uh, I followed him on Instagram as well. This must be super boring without streaming. I don't, uh, it doesn't really bother me. I'm good at occupying my mind. I don't get overly bored. I just kind of, I don't know, just chill. It's kind of relaxing to me. Walking. I just feel like you're overcoming something. Like there's a clear place you're trying to get to. Just not here, that direction. Um, there's something simple and, uh, but difficult about it. Like, such a simple task, but you are testing yourself as you go. Mentally and physically. Same thing why I like really, uh, admire mountaineering and bicycle touring, anything that's difficult and you have to test your body both mentally and physically. I appreciate things like that. Now this shoulder's getting more narrow again. It was half decent for a bit. Now it's narrowed up. If you go full sprint, you cut there quicker. Oh man. That's cell coverage in the outer banks. Uh, we'll have some rough patches here and there, but once I'm on like Hatteras and stuff, it looks like it'll be good. Why don't you cross the street? Because I prefer to face oncoming traffic. If I know I can't hitchhike somewhere. And I know I can't safely hitchhike here, so I'm gonna walk facing traffic because it's more safe. I can see cars as they approach me. Still no ride? What do you mean? When were you here last year? I had four rides today, Impact. It's just not good hitchhiking around here. Not because of like the, uh, like people or, well, it's mostly the road isn't good for hitchhiking. Uh, but then the traffic at the gas stations that I've been to have been very local. But yeah, another good cop ride. He was a nice guy. Damn local. Well, yeah, I just need people that are like actually going somewhere. When you're at like a place like that, it's all people not going somewhere. The opposite of going somewhere. To the north to go to the less you stop. Like the thing is, I've already done the northeast U.S. on another trip. I've hitchhiked through Upper New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, and Massachusetts on my way to Boston, and that's pretty far north. And I just had a dandy time hitchhiking through there. I had a grand old time. It was good. Really friendly people.
and they quit looking for jobs to become a hitchhiker. Right on. Inspired a generation of hitchhikers. <laughs> but I think hitchhiking, like actually, I think hitchhiking can be a very valuable experience. But um, again, talked about this. If you if you're not confident enough to turn down a ride, if you get a bad vibe from someone, don't hitchhike. You gotta look up for yourself. Still think Twitch should invite you as a special guest speaker to Twitch kind of do a montage of your journey. Twitch wants me to do that, I'd probably do that. Doing the hiking part of hitchhiking, I absolutely am. It's all part of the process. It's all part of the process. And I don't mind that this is something I'm doing right now. It really doesn't phase me. In fact, I like it. If everything was easy, you wouldn't feel like you've accomplished anything. Safety first, like always wear a condom. Yeah, like right now. Make sure you're wearing a condom. I always do. Safety first. <laughs> Do you try to hitch a plane to Hawaii in Alaska or do you plan to hike there? Um, I'm definitely going to try to hitchhike on a plane to Hawaii. I don't think it'll, like the, the way I've hitchhiked on airplanes before it will work for that type of flight. But I'm going to, I know a few pilots now. I'm going to pull in all my contacts and try to network my way onto like a deadhead kind of flight to Hawaii. Um, I'm going to try. Show the front view? Actually, that's a good idea. I've been showing you my face and it's kind of like not the best. There you go, front view. That's a good idea. Sometimes I just forget. I'm just like streaming my face. Was it deadhead me in this context? Honestly, I don't know. Someone's just saying that if someone's like has to fly an empty plane to Hawaii and maybe they can take you on, you just would have to clear it with the whatever company uh, is flying it or whoever owns the plane. It is possible to hitchhike ride on a plane? Yeah, we've hitchhiked on five airplanes so far. Exclamation point plane to show you kind of how uh, that's done or how my most recent one was done. Think small airports, think small airplanes. The shoulder, like, technically I can hitchhike up here, like it's got not that wide of a hard shoulder, but it's got a pretty good soft shoulder. The other side over there just ha has a narrower hard shoulder and no soft shoulder, so it's a, it's a dud for hitchhiking. Backpack clip smacking the mic. Oh, sorry. something. Maybe the cord's just swinging and doing something weird. Yeah, I'm not used to wearing this lav mic. I had my, my shotgun directional mic uh, for the first, <laughs> whatever, 50 days and then I broke it. Because I break everything. Classic hitchhiker. Breaking things. It's 
good now. Yeah, I'm kind of, I moved stuff out of the way. That's a good hitch spot. Well, it's doable here, but I'm going the other way. I'm going the way I'm walking. And over there, there's no shoulder and no soft shoulder. I could hitch hike here. But the other side of the road is worse. Your backpack sound? Oh, okay. That was my boot sound. <laughs> People in that area won't care about that soft shoulder? What do you mean? Aren't you afraid? No. Should I be? Actually, don't answer that because all of you are going to say yes because you're a Twitch. <laughs> no, I've hitchhiked for four years. I've hitchhiked in 25 countries. I've been picked up over 100 times. This is all just day-to-day -day normal things for me. understand that. Um, everyone grows up being taught to not hitchhike, to not pick up hitchhikers. That it's like the worst thing you could do. Um, and it's pretty much like playing Russian roulette for all parties involved. Um, but I don't know, I've done it a lot and I can tell you. I can tell you that that's a cool plane. Uh, but I can tell you that that's not the case. <laughs> not like playing Russian roulette, as some people said in chat. Um, it's just a dis different means of transportation. Ted Bundy was a super nice dude. Just saying. Yeah, and... Like the thing about that is like you can't really just go your life worrying about that type of person. The the average person you need to be concerned about is doesn't present themselves as a nice person. The average person you need to be concerned with, you can tell, you need to, to be wary of. Yes, there's those outlier cases of people like Ted Bundy where they're super nice people and they draw people in like that. But if you live your life thinking every kind person is secretly a serial killer, man, you're gonna have a miserable life. get murdered? Well, you still might. You just never know. You never know what life can throw at you. But like, people are always like, what if this happens? What if this happens? Trevor, what if this happens? Why do you occupy your mind with all that what if stuff? What if you're driving to your very safe accounting job? like what if, what if, what if, but like, I don't know, you could have the safest job in the world, you could be an accountant and you're commuting your 15 mile commute to work and some semi-truck driver could be overworked and tired and fall asleep, crash through the median and hit you front on. 
game over. What if that happens? There's so many what ifs in this world, I don't know why you should occupy your mind with that what if. Am I taking more risk hitchhiking than taking a bus, plane, train? Or driving my own car from point A to B? Probably. Because you're dealing with the unknown nature of things. But is it as dangerous as people make it out to be? I'm gonna say it's not. I'm gonna say it's not. You're allowed to have your opinion and say it's, it is as dangerous as you think it is. But I'm gonna say you haven't done it. <laughs> Dropping a cold and giving up on this accounting degree is too dangerous. That's what I did. I'm an accounting finance major. What? No, I'm, I'm, I'm walking in the direction I want to go, facing traffic that's going the opposite direction, not the way I want to go, because it's safer to walk in this, on this side of the road, facing traffic, rather than walking on that side, facing away from traffic. But I'm trying to go the way I'm walking. seen a hair like a, a, a hair hover like that do you have a sign out or a thumb no I'm not throwing a thumb at all it's not safe to pull over here in the direction I'm going so I don't want people to stop because it's not safe for them it's not safe for anyone um, so I'm just walking to a place where it is safe but I'm probably gonna call it there grab some dinner and then uh, set up my tent and try again tomorrow You see some biggins? I love planes. <laughs> People have been like, Trevor, like when you finish this, you're probably just gonna live stream getting your pilot's license, and that could be the case. I like flying. Gonna get a hotel? Probably not a good idea to camp near a military base. Why? Does just being in the proximity of a military base mean you're in a dangerous area? If you're not camping on the military base, which would be a very big crime, I'm guessing, then why does proximity to military base mean anything? In fact, it might even be safer. Because who wants to upset some military dudes? I follow night, good luck with sleep. Ah, oh, that's okay. I sleep just fine. Sometimes they blow stuff up and it falls in the vicinity. So is that why there's like houses all around here that just, you know, they build residential homes next to a military base because they drop ordnance and it, it falls and hits their houses. These people must be like, <laughs> it's a coin flip every day, whether or not they get bombed by the US military. Check 
whispers for a viewer. Okay. Military. It's interesting being in a military area. Hitchhiking across Russia, I saw a lot of that type of thing too. Obviously different because, you know, the vehicles are different in Russia. <laughs> but, uh, they just be hitchhiking on the side of the road and a convoy of military vehicles just come by. I still threw out my thumb because I thought it would be fun to get picked up by the Russian military. But, um, yeah, they didn't pick me up. How are you going to be streaming? I don't know. Whenever I feel like stopping. Hitch a military truck would be cool. Yeah, I've hitchhiked a ride in a Lithuanian, Lithuanian military Humvee. In Lithuania, of course. Um, and that was neat. I would like to get picked up by the US military. I think that would be interesting. Where are we walking to? A place where I can eat and uh, a place where I can hitchhike tomorrow. Check my whispers, and I will follow up on that when I'm not streaming. That sounds interesting. Do you think I have a problem getting a ride? I never really have much of a problem. I don't see why I would. What kind of food do you keep in your backpack? Some nuts, some Snickers bars. stuff about New Jersey okay later this uh, evening once I stop I'll check my discord and my whispers and stuff um, and uh, see what's up but thank you Matthew Conroy so New Jersey will be coming up in a bit a little ways so far yet before then but in a bit are you even going uh, down this road Going to a gas station and there's a Dunkin' Donuts. So I'm gonna get some dinner, um, and then I'm probably gonna camp. But we're hitchhiking all around America. The key words in hitchhiking are hitch and hiking. Right now we're doing the hiking part, uh, and then uh, probably tomorrow we'll be doing the hitching part with some hiking thrown in, of course, as well. Do you have a map with you? I have Google Maps with me. So I have a GPS in my pocket, where it will show you exactly where you are in the world. And not only that, it'll even show you which direction you're facing. It's kind of difficult to get lost anymore. Haven't you got a chance to share? Well, the past little while, almost every day, I've been staying with viewers, I've been like staying with people that picked me up, and then I had Hurricane Alberto, so I was staying in motels because it didn't feel like it wasn't a hurricane, it was a subtropical storm Alberto. It was mostly just rain, it was, it was a little bit overblown, at least where I was. <laughs> Is that a GPS in your pocket? You just happened to see me? 
Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like not a good place to get some sleep. I'd sleep. That's the peaceful sound of the US military just watching over you. <laughs> Looks like you're in the middle of nowhere. Depends what you call the middle of nowhere. But maybe. Welcome to the hitchhiking. There's lots of downtime. One time someone came into the channel and said they were doing what I'm doing, like, I, I guess by that, live streaming. But well, they said they were walking across the country. I forget their name though, but I... Hmm. Does anyone remember? At one point someone said that, that they're walking. Unless they were trying to be like, Yo, it's cool what you're doing, but uh, I'm walking across the country. So... Top that. Place to eat in there? Yeah, there's a Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, good song choice, Ham. Country roads, take me home to the place I belong. Yeah. You bicycle across the country? I think I'd enjoy doing that. I don't think I'd enjoy walking across the country. I would enjoy biking across the country. karaoke please. Is that what we do when we're doing the hiking portion of hitchhiking? we we'll just turn it into a, like a singing stream. Where's Golden Voice? Andy, where's Rykar? When you need him. I need him singing with me. My country, country would take forever? Yeah. That's what, why, why I think snow is a dead thing. Roadkill. We've seen lots of roadkill along the way. Groups. Deaf Gators, North Carolina. Good thing me and Gators get along really well. That looks like a nice place. There's my home for the night. Interesting. Isn't it illegal to hitchhike? It is not. But it is illegal to hitchhike in five states. Those states are um, Nevada, Utah, Idaho, Delaware, and New Jersey. Uh, so I won't be hitchhiking in those states. Careful with snakes. Me and snakes, we're, 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 we're buddy buddy. I get along good with the snakes. Need a command for the states? I think we do. What's the sixth one? There's five states. Didn't I say five? Did I say six? Anyway, there's five states. If you want, you can bring your guitar and your banjo and play the instrumental. That would be great. Wyoming is no longer illegal to hitchhike in that changed in 2013. It was illegal to hitchhike in Wyoming, but that was changed in 2013. They specifically allow it now. New York. 
York is not legal. It's no, New York is fine. We realize you get the point but we have broken down or something. Um, like realistically it's banned in some places but it's up to the police's discretion if you break down. The police will understand that as, you know, what are you going to do? Albeit now, most places people are hanging out. There's cell reception, so most people don't hitchhike if they break down anymore, they call AAA. Oh, if someone wants, like if you're just walking down the street and someone pulls over, you're not hitchhiking, so hitchhiking is not illegal. It's the act of soliciting a ride that I've banned. This is what I 95 looks like the whole way. Well, this is State Highway 24, so it won't be like this for a while, for a long time, because eventually we'll hit a city, and then we'll hit some like weird, windy forests. Forests? English is tough sometimes. And then we're gonna take a ferry to some like cool islands or stuff. I-95 is way busier, but it's a lot more boring. I could go up I-95 and I'd do this a whole lot quicker. That's kind of boring. Just like down the west coast, I could have gone down I-5 instead of taking Highway 101. But that's boring. I've been through Eastern Washington. No, I've never been to Eastern Washington. I started on right down the west coast. Um, but maybe if I come back to Washington, I'll come from the... Uh, from... Uh, what, Montana, Idaho, into Eastern Washington that way? Good news is at the end of the 24th there's an iPod and everyone loves that. I like IHOP, I really do. Uh, are we going to Charleston, South Carolina? Yeah. I didn't go to Charleston proper. I'm gonna get drop off in just, just north of Charleston. Uh, and I camped out there. Had a miserable time because it was 92% humidity. And it was like at midnight I checked because I couldn't sleep and it was yeah, 77 degrees and 92% humidity. I could not sleep. It was the humidity. The 77 isn't horrible. But it was the humidity. It rained earlier and then like so everything was wet and then it like cleared up and then oh, it's just ugh. Ugh. Gross. Any Bigfoot sightings on the stream? A um, couple times. When we lose the cell reception, uh, Bigfoot kind of carries like an anti-signal, like a jammer. Uh, so when we lose the signal, it's probably because there's Bigfoot near. So don't blame me. Don't blame Verizon. Just blame Bigfoot. You still in 24? I believe so. to a small town? Maybe. I don't know. 
I'm just walking till I get to this place with a with a place I can get food. Assume you'll tent somewhere. That's the plan. That's the plan, Stan. I just spent two beautiful nights inside, did my laundry, back out to the real world. Like a place that coming up to eat? Yeah, there's a, like a Dunkin' Donuts up here. I think Verizon should sponsor me. I think their problem is their cell network isn't 100% complete. So if they sponsor me, inevitably we're gonna get some signal drops. And then everyone will be like, thanks Verizon. And it's like, I guess it's good for Verizon when I'm in a weird place and it still is like the stream's still up and working. Like when I was in like that rural spot in Arkansas and it took me four hours to get a ride because I had 20 cars in four hours. Um, like there, it's like good advertising. But like when I was coming up to a city earlier today and the stream was just cutting in and out and all that, that's not good advertising. But I think the signal's fine. I think my jetpack was just oofing up a bit. And I gave it a hard reset and then things seem to be working fine since then. Most of the way, we're getting close. It's just uh, just under a kilometer left. That ain't bad. We can't be tonight, most likely. Most likely. We've been driving down east here for a while. We'd be happy to give you a ride. It's on your way to Cedar Island Ferry. I don't want followers to pick you up, but just offering it if you don't need a ride, slash need one. Let's decide. <laughs> like, I, I really want to. I'm just like, trying to do it as, as uh, legit hitchhiking as possible. Hmm. What times are you like? Take his boat to the wait. Yeah, what are you doing with the boat? Because if you got a boat, I'd like to go on a boat. You don't want me to end up like Krista McC <laughs> McCandless? Yeah. Me neither. That's the goal. Don't die until I'm a little bit older. But what I'm doing is pretty, like he did some hitchhiking, but his goal was to kind of escape civilization. My goal is to show off the, uh, the good side of humanity. Well, to show what hitchhiking is like, which in my opinion is showing the good side of humanity, people seeing strangers standing on the side of the road and just helping them out. So. They're a commercial fisherman.
going through Swansboro. I don't know what Swansboro is. That doesn't mean I didn't. Uh, I'll go through places and not really know where I am. So I could have and just didn't recognize it. You're walking with me on Google Earth. Uh, technically, I should hide my location, shouldn't I? <sighs> oh well. Sun's kind of setting now, but I'm just about to walk up to where I'm trying to get to. Oh, we were just talking about Forest Gump. Are you shrimp, shrimp boat captain? Two thousand feet more. Here's the countdown. It's the final countdown. Tascoon, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the Twitch Huggers. And thanks for the support. Thank you. How long does the battery last for? Well, I've got multiple. One of these 20,000 milliamp hour batteries lasts for about a day. And I've got about enough batteries to go for three days. I do have a solar panel charger now. I don't know if I'll be able to... I don't think it'll run at, like, equilibrium, so as fast as another battery's depleting, another one will be charging, but it certainly will help. Wow, so many of you guys have just stayed hanging out with me as I just walk down the road. I hope you're enjoying the walking content, or the hiking part of hitchhiking. It's going to be a social eating stream pretty soon, which I'm sure will be very exciting. I walk a lonely road, the only one that I have ever known. Oh. I think this is very chill. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are enjoying the uh, the chill content of walking down the street. Are you streaming your tent? No, I don't show off where I'm sleeping. Don't show you guys where I sleep. I stream pretty much everything, but I don't show you where I sleep. Burger time? It's a it's a Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know if they got burgers, but it's something time. I see a business. Is this our promised land? Is this where the pilgrimage has been taking us? Have we made it? We might just have. Show us where you wake up. I usually don't show it until I like pack up my camp or something like that. Unless I know it's 100% above board where I'm staying. Don't call it Krispy Kreme like last time. Yeah, it was a little embarrassing. Be like, yeah, I've never had a Krispy Kreme donut before. They're like, wait, what? This is a Dunkin' Donuts. Oh. I mean, I've never had Dunkin' Donuts either. Either way, I haven't had either because I'm Canadian and we don't have those, but still. You're a semi-inspired Tesco. I'm glad to have semi-inspired you. With my walking down the street antics. Oh. We've only had Duncan once, but doesn't America run on Duncan? That's what I've heard at least. Or was that just a marketing guy telling me that? I 
America runs from Dunk. Oh no. What am I doing? I must be going towards it because I'm Canadian. What if it gets there and it's closed? Or what if it gets there? <laughs> I just called myself it. <laughs> what if I get there and it's closed? That would be a tragedy. You knew about the stream when I was in California? Yeah, like we were only having like 30 to 50, 30 to 60 people around that time. The stream is a lot smaller then. Don't let they close until like 10? Okay, that's good. We got 10. Social eating stream. I am hungry though. I am a hungry hitchhiker. It's open 24 hours. Or is it just the, the drive through that's open 24 hours? Sometimes the, the inside closes earlier than the drive thru's open. Was up on the left? What do you mean? Trees and power poles? Another fan. Ashley Home Store. Interesting. We found two hats so far on the road. Two hats. See a Duncan? Me neither. It's probably just inside the uh, gas station, tucked away. Oh, I hope it's not like a like. Sometimes they'll have like coffee shops inside gas stations, but they're just like partial. They're not like the full service ones, so I won't have factual food. They'll have like a couple donuts and coffee. Uh oh. Uh, I'm happy with the two and a half liters I carry right now based off of the conditions I'm putting myself into. I think two and a half liters is a respectable amount based off of how close to civilization I am. I'm not too far out there where I'll need, you know, five liters of water. When I was in Australia, in the middle of the outback, I was carrying five liters of water. Things are very spread out there. But here, it's not that bad. It's a donut section and coffee. Oh no. As well just have gas station food then, that's probably right. That sucks. On my social eating stream, we'll have to have gross gas station food instead of delicious Dunkin' Donuts. Are we F? People are telling me F. Stuff says it's okay. 